Hey everybody, it's James here and welcome to London Gatwick North. So tonight I'm going to be staying at the Premier Inn. Uh, the last time I came here was just after restrictions about you know what had just lifted and I felt that I had pretty much a quarter of the experience at the time, understandably. So let's go explore this hotel without restrictions. Uh, good to know by the way, that's the entrance and Gatwick North is right here so it's extremely convenient right let's do this what's happened to the glass is it shattered or are they just getting ready for Halloween uh, shattered oh dear right now then I do remember this you've got to take the lift up I think it's one flight to reach reception and whilst i'm waiting for the lift uh, you can see this is a express checkout you just drop your key cards here i do remember the lift taking a long time Ugh. Alrighty, we are here and it looks like you can check yourself in let's have a go shall we let's go with surname and postcode all right that all looks good done Right, enter details of adult two. I wouldn't call Matthew an adult. This is where you can add on options for breakfast, unlimited breakfast or a meal deal, which includes dinner as well, or just a continental breakfast. You can also upgrade to ultimate Wi-Fi. Nope. Look, 66 pounds for two people for one night. I think that's excellent value considering the location. Alrighty, collecting documents. And I've got my receipts down here. And another, oh my goodness, look at all this. Oh, create your room key. I like, look at this. Right, so cards just popped out here. Oh, is it ready? Oh, that's excellent. It's like a, a dis an interactive Disney ride look. Let's do this. Top floor. Can I just say, look at the absolute state of that. What the hell are people doing? It's like, <clears throat> you're like literally punching the keys. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's warm in here. We are on the curve. Here we go, 10.07. Alrighty, first tip for me is to make sure you get at least two key cards. You're gonna need to, <laughs> you see, you're gonna need one to operate the electricery and so on and so forth and the aircon. As you come in on the left-hand side, you've got three hooks for your, your smalls, your tools. Bin down here, hair dryer, um, a very bright, not very flattering light. Look, I look like a ghost or something. And then the not very wardrobe wardrobe. We've got some hanging space, shelf, um, another four shelves here, towel, and a fair size. Oh, sorry, that's loud. A fair size drawer is what I was saying. And then here, we, oh, this is a nice little table. Look, uh, comfy chair. Oh, and I spy some amenities here. We've got our kettle. We've got some mugs, glasses coffees teas milks lovely jubbly are you even british if you don't have a kettle in your room uh we've got menus here and those all important sockets behind we've got two there and there's a usb port over here we've got a decent sized tv let's see if actually is maneuverable oh god no i'll just pull it off the wall if i try and do that so actually from the bed a bit of a, a diagonal um will live gorgeous little lamp over there a lot i like that one and then directly behind oh we've got quite a nice little chair we've got this is a bit more contemporary than uh, usual sorry i don't mean to be rude about the premier inn but it is actually um we've got nice bedside table here actually uh another socket we've got some contemporary lights look there's even a little bit of uh, glow going on up here how romantic is that <laughs> and then over here we don't have that same gorgeous table but this is very convenient very practical another socket here as well a splish splash of color on the wall we like that it's almost like these people know me because uh the temperature was already down to 19 degrees celsius which is pretty much standard for me when i'm in a hotel room let's just pan out and have a look i'd say that's quite comfy wouldn't you quite nice looking actually Right, let's have a look and see if we've got views of anything in particular. Countryside? Could be worse, couldn't it, folks? I'll tell you one thing, it's very quiet up here. Can't hear any of that traffic. Can't hear any of the aeroplanes. Should get a good night's sleep. Let's see what a Premier Inn bathroom is like. London Gatwick North. 
Well, the first thing of note, no clinging curtains, thank goodness. It's hair and body gel in the shower. One, two, ten and a half. Hmm, two people in their max, I'd say, folks. Your standard bog, wash basin. Gentle soap for those delicate porcelain hands of yours. Travel block Jamie over there. We've got towels. I mean, it's perfectly acceptable, isn't it? And you're gonna want a hairdryer test, aren't you? Is it powerful enough? Ready? Is that powerful enough for you? I don't know, I don't use hair dryers. Can you tell if it's powerful from the sound? Maybe. Well, I don't know about you, my lads, but my first impressions of the building, uh, the upkeep, the lifts, those buttons, uh, were not good. Um, so actually, it's quite a nice surprise to come into this room and feel, you know, it's quite fresh. It's definitely clean, quite contemporary for a premiere. Feeling a little bit more relaxed now. Anyway, time to go back downstairs. Oh God, how long will that take in those lifts? And have a look and see what amenities there are available to us. Right, back downstairs to see what's going on. Nice to see we've got some cold water. Thank you very much. And just through here, we've got some dispensers, chocolates and sweets crisps we've got drinks here oh there's even a ben and jerry's machine and to the left of check-in down here should have a costa an outdoor seating area and also restaurant all right i've just booked into dinner an early one since we've got an early start tomorrow and here look you have the bar area we've got some comfy seating Less comfy seating and a beautiful view over here of the car park, the multi-storey, gorgeous. And to the left, that's where our Costa Coffee is. And to the right of Costa, you have an outdoor area as well. Again, that wasn't open last time I was here. Actually, there's quite a good seating area towards the back of the Costa. Got these little booths as well, look. Um, sockets there if you want to be charging whilst drinking your coffee. I think this is good space. Is it acceptable to do a cheers post with an iced coffee? Hell yes. Cheers, everybody. Oh, they put syrup in it. All right, we'll try that one again, shall we? Minus all the sugar syrup. Better. Comes as standard. No, it doesn't. I drink in Costa all the time. They don't come pick full of sugar syrup. Very naughty. What broken glass though? What's going on here? Oh my god. I just listened to two of the workers here at the Costa absolutely bitching, beyond bitching really loud or like me, 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 right in front of me. I mean, like, I don't want to hear you bitching. Mm. God, I'm I in a grump today. I promise you I'm not trying to moan too much, but what's the point of getting a, a time slot and then the line goes all the way back here? Ooh. Over there, that's a separate line just to get to the bar. Awesome, such fun. We made it to the front of the line and here we are at Time Restaurant. Yeah. Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? All right, I'm going for vodka with blood orange soda. And look, we've got rosemary in it as well. Tin Tin Matthew and happy holidays. Nom, 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 nom. The food menu at Time Restaurant is definitely quite varied. Here's a peep at what's on offer and those all important prices. All right, I'm starting with cauliflower popcorn with a spicy tomato sauce. That's that one. Double meat palace for Matthew. And I've gone with the chicken makani. I see you chilies. I really want some spice actually. 
So our meal came to about £60. That was a starter. Two main courses, four alcoholic beverages. Bit of a line to get in, obviously uh, busy, but actually once we were sat down, we had very good service and the food was good, surprisingly good actually, very tasty. So it was pretty much a thumbs up for the meal. At £10.50, an unlimited cooked breakfast with drinks is very good value. Or indeed, you could pay £8.50 for a continental breakfast. And there we have it, uh, the Premier Inn at London Gatwick North. Uh, not without fault, as you've seen, it wasn't just down to my jet lag grumpiness. Uh, a few things need attention, um, but £66 for one night, two people in a very comfortable room, uh, very comfortable mattresses, slept very well, even though we've had to get up at half three in the morning ready for our flight to Dubrovnik. Yes, make sure you're following along. Um, the comfort level was very good, actually. I would definitely recommend it for a good night's sleep and the convenience next to the airport terminal. Anyway, we are heading to Dubrovnik in the next hour, believe it or not. So come along, follow that journey. We are going to be joining Morella Explorer 2 on an Adriatic cruise. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.